Hey guys, it's Aaron, and we have another great devotion for you today. And, uh, you know, again, we've been uh, enjoying doing this, and we're going to continue to do this. Uh, we're going to try to come out with videos Monday through Fridays, um, usually in the mornings when they will probably come out. So be on the lookout for them, and like them and share them if you do like them. Uh, you know, let your friends know about it. And uh, don't forget to follow our YouTube page, so subscribe to that. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell, send you notifications when those new videos come out. Um, and, you know, be, be on the lookout for that. Uh, I got a lot of stuff on the horizon that we want to do, but without further ado, let's get into this morning's devotion. We're coming up on an exciting time, especially for young couples uh, coming up on Valentine's Day and seems to be the month of love here in February. I want to talk to you just a little bit about that subject, love. I want to read to you a little scripture. It's in Romans chapter five and verse eight. It's one of my favorite scriptures. It says, but God commends his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That gives us, that should give us so much hope, so much excitement because knowing that even before we didn't have to clean ourselves up, we didn't have to pull ourselves out of the mud, but Jesus saw us right where we were at, right in the in whatever situation, whatever you were facing at the time, he saw us and he loved us. That's, that's, that's exactly what the scripture saying. He says, but God shows his love toward us in that, while we were yet sinners, while we were out in the world, while we didn't care anything about him and didn't give him a second thought at all, he loved us. Doesn't it, isn't that exciting? I can't think of I can't think of anyone else that did that for us. You know, my wife and I, when we got together, we had to grow to love one another, just like any other couple. But God saw us in our sin, when we were at our worst, when we were at our weakest, when we were at our least desirable, and he loved us. He loved us so much that he sent his son to die for us. Is that not exciting to you? It is to me. You know, I think about over in John, whenever there, Jesus, uh, he's, he's teaching, and some of the Pharisees, they bring up the woman that was caught in adultery. And they, they're challenging him to see what he will do. And he just, he stoops down and then he starts uh, writing in the dirt. And they said, Master, she was caught in the very act and asked him, what should they do? And Jesus, he simply looked up and said, he that is without sin, let him cast the first stone. Well, no one, no one could throw a stone because we, we're all in sin. We all have sin and comes up short of the glory of God. So as Jesus knelt back down, the crowd, they all of them left except the woman. And she was still there, humbled down before him. And as Jesus looked up, he said, woman, where's thy accusers? And she said, they, they've gone, my Lord. And he said, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. He did every one of us that way, whether whether we were adulterers, whether we were murderers, whether we were liars, or whether we were just good old boys that had never accepted him as their, as their savior. He still looked beyond our sins. He looked through what was in our lives, loved us, died for us, and he gave us a promise. He's coming back for us one day. He's coming back to take us home to where there will be no more sin, there will be no more sorrow. There will be no more pain or sickness. That, my friends, to me, is the true definition of love. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever, not the clean, not the rich, not the well-known, not the ones that could do more for him, but for whosoever would believe in him, they won't have to perish, but have everlasting life. I hope this brings you some encouragement this week. I hope that these words, if you're if you're feeling alone, if you're feeling down and out, if you're if you're feeling sad or you're feeling depressed or you're going through something, know one thing, know one thing. He loves you. You won't go it alone because he loves you and he's there for you. 
Thank you for giving me a little bit of your time today. And I pray that this is an encouragement for you. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that devotion from Brother Tim. And if you did, like it, share it. Uh, let your friends know about it. And don't forget about our YouTube page. Again, there's more to come there. Um, just uh, go subscribe to it. And uh, again, if you have any questions, suggestions, let us know. We want to do everything we can to uh, make this the best it can be for you. And uh, we hope you all have a blessed day.